To begin with, let's create a new Niagara system. We will choose the parent emitter as this base GPU emitter that comes with the pack. We will add a spawn rate first. Let's set it to 1000. In the particle spawn, we will now add the initialize curve module. Now, we need the set transform module to set the position of the particles. Finally, we have to choose the respective curve module that we want to use in this emitter. Let's go with the heart curve for this demonstration. We can see that the particles have aligned themselves in the heart shape. Let me increase the spawn count to make this look more dense. We can now go to the initialize curve and play with the parameters a bit. Along with changing the radius, we can also set the radius scale values along the x and y axis. In the angle parameter, instead of the default remapped angle values, we can choose a random range. The range has to be in degrees, so 0 to 360 would indicate the complete curve. And if you don't choose a full cycle, you can generate a partial curve as well, as you can see here. Let's rotate this curve to face the forward direction in the set transform module. All right, I will now go to the preview scene settings window to hide the background and change environment color for better visibility of the particles. I will now modify the color properties for the particles. Let us add the color from curve. Instead of variation along normalized age, I will choose the curvature property, which is a particle attribute returned by the curve module and is a float parameter, representing the position along the curve. So in the initialized curve module, let me make the radius a user parameter, so that it will be easier for me to change the values, and also will be convenient when I add multiple emitters here. We will proceed towards customizing the shape of the curve in the heart curve module. You can see all the parameters over here that define the shape of the heart. By tweaking these you get a lot of interesting variations, and this already gives you limitless possibilities of what you can do with just a single type of curve module. Now we will play with the forces. I will add a curl noise force. I will vary the noise strength along the normalized age. Let me add a drag force now. I will go ahead and add a second emitter. So I will be duplicating this one and modify its properties to add some interesting variations. I will multiply the radius parameter that I defined earlier with a random range float so that I can get a few of the particles surrounding the main emitter. Now I will add some random velocity. I am happy with the output so far, so now I will add another emitter, but this time I want to spawn the particles with the first emitter as source. I will add a point attraction force here. 
the radius can be about 5 to 10 times the radius of the curve. This is something that I have found to be a good value if you want the attraction force to influence all the particles. For the attraction strength, I will set a random range so that some particles can move outward while others are drawn inward, creating an interesting look similar to the edges of a portal effect. Now you have an idea of the advanced FX you can create with all the customization possibilities within Niagara, while keeping the respective curve module as the absolute foundation to build upon. So now you understand that this pack is not just a collection of Niagara FX for simple tweaking and modification, but rather a comprehensive system that enables you to create advanced FX with numerous customization options. The modules here simply serve as the foundation for building these complex effects, allowing you to unleash your creativity and bring your visions to life. Okay, so let us play with the height parameter of our curve now. We will create a user variable called height so that it can be used across all emitters. By default, the height is set to zero as the curves are typically defined in two dimensions. However, by adding a value to the height variable, you can stretch the curve along the z-axis. I will add a range for my radius parameter so that the particles can now occupy the entire area of the curve instead of just along the edges. Alright, we have now created a fascinating heart shaped FX using the heart curve. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this tutorial informative and helpful.